Okay, let's do this. I'm a little nervous. We'll see what he brings. Um, let's go. Still communicating. Tyrantrum, Cryogonal. We do get the Pivoting Core. We don't get the Duck. We do have Cryogonal. Um, slightly different than what I expected. Uh, top three are there. Top four are there. Tyrantrum's there too. Uh, the thing that's missing is... I went Cryogonal over... I find it weird he brought Cryogonal. Um, but that's fine. Uh, ice. Rapid Spin. Okay. Um, it's not the worst thing in the world. Um, I was sort of hoping that the Pivoting Core wouldn't come, or at least one of the two. The Pivoting Core being Beresuda and Thunderous. I think... Jesus Christ, I need to... Uh, so, I'm a little nervous about this. I only have 39 seconds. I think my best lead is Ready Steel. The only thing Ready Steel doesn't lead amazingly against is Beresuda. That being said, maybe my Lotic's a little bit better. Um, it... <sighs> I'm gonna leave my Lotic. We're gonna see how this goes. Or do I want to lead Ready Steel? No, I want to lead Ready Steel here. 100%. Go. No! Fuck! Fucking entered five. God damn it. Oh no, I entered six. Sick. Alright, never mind. <laughs> I was so scared. <laughs> okay. I should have all six, right? That's not that's not being crazy. Ah, oh, Lily sent out blue. Is that okay? That's Tyrantrum. So maybe. Wait, what? I did not send out Mew first. That is extremely bad. Um, did I fuck up there? Okay. Well, I just have to go hard Milotic here. There's no question about it. Um, probably means he gets up rocks here, which sucks. But um, I don't know why that happened. I thought I led Reggie Steel. We will uh, go into Milotic here. At least we'll get a Flame Orb off. I don't think he Toxics this turn. He goes for Rocks. Yep, that's expected. Um, I think now the question is, does he want to stand against me? I seriously doubt it. Uh, there's no Crobat here, so Toxic is extremely free. I'm going to do that, because um, I think there's a good chance Tangrowth comes in. If Tangrowth does come in, I think I want to go into Registeel and get my Rocks up. Um, I don't know why that lead happened, and it puts me on the back foot pretty quickly. Um, I guess it's not as bad as leading Registeel. Maybe I would have made this play regardless. Um, although we could have close combated or something. I mean, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna complain about it. Um, you live and you learn. Um, he does head smash immediately. Um, this shouldn't Tuco. No. And I miss. That's awesome. This game is off to a wild end start. Um, I have to recover here. I suppose I could mud shop, but I need my health really badly. Um, I would love to see him miss in Retribution, although I'm not sure how likely it is that that's going to happen. <sighs> does he switch out? No, he just stays in head smashes again. If he crits me, my life is over. He does not. Um, I don't really have a choice here other than to just keep spamming recover um, in hopes that he misses at some point. Uh, you know, if he has Dragon Dance on top of this, I'm a little fucking... Yep. <laughs> That's terrifying. Uh, I do need to start hitting Mudshot now, then. Um, that sucks. This has been really bad so far with this hacks. Um, but at this point, I need to be in a situation where um, 
I need to be in a situation where Terrakion revenges. So ideally he goes for another Dragon Dance or misses this. Nope, he doesn't miss a single head smash. This is great. Um, okay, at least we land the Mud Shot. It does a little bit. <sighs> Part of me wonders if I just go into, what's it called here? Um, I can't lose this. But I don't know what else to go into. It's really bad. Um, do I take a plus one hit with Terrakion? I mean, if this was toxic, I could just stall this, but I can't. Um, Tyrantrum. Plus one. Earthquake has a chance to kill. I think I just have to take the risk uh, if he goes for Earthquake, good on him. No, head smash. Show the miss? No fucking miss. This is fucking crazy. Okay. Um, I'm extremely annoyed at this, but I'm just gonna go for close combat. Uh, hopefully he stays in and lets this go down. This is gonna be a. This is gonna have to be a big recovery at this point. Um, we know that this thing has rocks, DD, head smash, and one other move. <laughs> How do you just earthquake there? I lost six zero. Um, if he has Chopel, I might be kind of fucked. I mean, he could just go Tangrowth here. I don't know if he wants to do that. I think he's just gonna stay in. Like, I don't know why he'd risk it. Um, but if he does, I can go into... I just don't get my rocks. Yep, close combat. Terrakion picks up the knockout, so... Terrakion KOs Tyrantrum. That was extremely scary, um, but I don't feel like I had a choice there. Well, what does Milotic fucking recover on? That's the issue. Yeah, there's Propeller. Um, I imagine we're going to see a Jet here. Um... And I can't swap in. Yeah, I can't swap you in. Um, yeah, this is pretty terrible. Uh, after my Lodic takes rocks damage, how much is like, is it life orb? Yeah, if this is Jet, I'm like Omega Boned. Um, I think if this is Jet, I almost have to just go for Mew. Uh, God damn it. I think I have to go Milo here. Hope he's choiced in some way. I guess I could sack this, but I, I think I still need this to revenge stuff. I hate how I wasn't able to just recover spam on that. Uh, show the Jet. Yep. 41 to 24. Um, we'll see if he's choice scarfed here. I'm just gonna recover. This is like super bad because this thing. Yeah, okay. So, how much did that do? I was at 44 and went down to 12. I gotta calc that. Versus my Lotic. I didn't think he'd have room for Aqua Jet, to be honest. I actually think he is banned, though. Um, I'm going to call him out on that and get my rocks up. Um, I am at a point where I just need to win with you. Yeah. I need to get uh, Cosmic Powers up virtually ASAP. Uh, we'll see if he's Choice Scarfed here. I'm just going to go for Stealth Rock. If he reveals CC, he reveals CC. Uh, I can't really do anything about it. Yeah, he switches out, and he doesn't flip turn, so he's definitely Choice Banned. He goes into Tangrowth. I can Toxic this. In fact, I want to Toxic this. Um, let's do that. Okay, finally we land this Toxic. That's very nice. Um, we know Barrascuta is banded. 
We know Tyrantrum's dead. He goes for knockoff and knocks off my Chesterberry. That's a little annoying, um, but not the end of the world. I imagine he's going to go for Earthquake here. I'm just going to go into my Hot Pockets. What's his Overheat switch in? It's not very good. Um, I almost want to Bolt, though. No, but he's not going Barrascoot on this. There's no way. Okay. So, this isn't very good so far. I'm starting to think that I need to Volt here. If he goes Thunderous, I can just overheat the next turn. No, overheat's good here. I don't know what I'm saying. I gotta start playing this offensively in the sense that, like, you know, I... I, I there's no way he goes Barrascoot here. Uh, he has Earthquake and Knock. I should make note of that. He does not switch into Overheat very well at all. Yeah. Bye. Okay. Uh, what KO'd Milotic? Scuda. Scuda KO's Milotic. Rotom, KOs, Tangrowth. He just goes back into Bear Scooter here, which is kind of nuts. Um, I just have to start picking, like, least valuable sack, or, or, or least valuable mod, I should say. Um, <laughs> it's a time like this when I wish I was Pasha Berry on Rotom again, um, but it's fine. Um, It's gonna suck though. I mean, that being said, now that this is gone, like, Tarak's looking good with free stone edges. Actually, Tarak picks up a kill after each edge, so preserving it was right instead of Milo. Um, yeah, there goes Propeller. Um, let me just make sure that, like, yeah, okay. What's least valuable here? I think. Rotom is still actually extremely valuable between Cryagonal and Scuda. I almost wonder if I just sack the Diggers Bee at this point. What does it do? Not much because of Psychic Terrain. I can't really quick attack much. And it was really just there to beat the thing. Um, yeah, let's do that. Sack the Diggers Bee. Don't need you here. Just goes for raw liquidation. That's interesting. Bye. <laughs> so, Scuda KOs Diggers Bee. And now, I think I just have to land an edge. If I don't land this edge, I lose this game. Let me just make sure that it kills, though, because otherwise I have to close combat. Stone is 92 to 110. Close combat definitely kills. Um, I think I just want to go for the guaranteed kill. No, I gotta go for edge. But if I don't, then I lose. Yeah, I should have edged. That's stupid of me. Alright, Laddle. Lele. Yeah, I should have edged there. Um, this could be setup fodder for uh, Mew, actually. I want to see how much Barrascute is doing to Mew. And we gotta, we gotta scout for this item, too. Leftovers. Sick. That's really good for us, because that means that, um, I think that means we can go Registeel here. If he starts Calm Minding, I mean, then that's a slight issue, but, um, 
you know, perfect world as we get Mew in a, on a CC. That'd be huge um, from, from Barascuta. This game is extremely against me right now because of how Milo went in the early game. Um, otherwise, I'd be able to swap into this Barascuta. I do switch out. I probably have two more rounds of rocks I can take. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know if he'd raw Fogus Blast. That seemed kind of like crazy. I think he's called Mind here. He doubles. Okay. Into Odin. That's okay by me, I think. Um, I think I go into... <sighs> Maybe is he Like, that's the issue. I think I have to Toxic here. If he's Agility, it's like really bad. No, Focus Blast. Miss! He doesn't miss anything! <laughs> Come on! 125 to a death. Is that Specs? Doesn't show Life Orb. Um, Thunderous Therian versus Registeel. I think I was at 125. Yeah, yeah, that's that's gotta be specs. Yeah, that's specs. Um, we are gonna go into me, and we are gonna cosmic power. This is the end game. Um, if he's crunch on Scuda, I think I just lose. So, <laughs> uh, I cosmic power here. He hard swaps into Crystal. Okay. Does he show boots? He does. Um, if he's toxic here, that's super bad. He's leftovers. Okay. I actually don't know if I risk this. I think I just go into Rotom. He definitely brought Toxic on this. There's no question about it. God, it's what made what it's what would make fucking Heal Bell so good here. Okay, we did predict the Toxic, right? That would have lost had we stayed in. That would have made us lose if we stayed in. Um, but now we lose the game. I think I'm pretty sure uh, that Milo fucking. God, the toxic miss was huge. Okay. Um we need to play off of a massive misprediction here. Lele, Scuda, Thundy, which does he go into? I'm not sure. I wonder if I just raw overheat here. I think I do. Just pick up damage on something. God if I had heal bell. Frick. Brick, brick, brick. Oh, that's huge. Just kill. Rapid spin. Oh, but now he gets recover off. Speed rose, pointed stones disappeared. Okay, we gotta put this thing on a timer now. Um, blech. He recovers here? Yep. And I gotta start pain splitting. Okay, at least we got this thing toxic. It's not the worst thing in the world. But I, I don't think we win this anymore. I, I really don't. Oh, that Milo sucked. That fucking toxicness on the Milo. Uh, I guess I could have gone into like Tyrantrum sooner, but I'm not a fan of how that went down. Um, I 
I think the play is to Volt here. Freeze dry. Does this get me in range of rocks? Oh, for sure. Yeah. Maybe I should have pain splitted first. Okay. Uh, I gotta go into you and just, you know, do the thing. Go for edge. Do I take one more? I do live one more on one. That's fucking crazy. Um, goal is he stays in here. That's perfect world. Perfect world, he stays in here. Please stay in. Don't sack the Lele. That would suck. Lele sack would be bad. <sighs> Maybe I should have just gone for it with Mew. I'm not sure. It's hard to say. No! We won! We won this game had we landed that. Because he goes into Barracuda and Aqua Jets, and I set up with... Ugh. Was CC really the play there? I guess. It's hard to say. Okay, I have to go into Mew and just cause my power. That's so stupid! Ugh. I prefer this so dip so hard. Um, I got a miss here. Actually... No, he outspeeds me for sure. Uh, I got a cosmic power. If I outsped the whole time, I'm going to be really upset. Does toxic me. He lands, of course. Wow. Um, no, I, I lose this now. So I'm going to spend this time explaining why I'm upset. My game plan for this Barrascuta was that I'm always able to go my Lodic on it. Always. There's nothing that should stop me from doing so. Um... Aside from a flip turn, in which case I can play around that. But the issue is that because I missed that Toxic on Tyrantrum early game, I wasn't able to spam recover in front of the head smashes, forcing me to make that play into Terrakion. Um, it's annoying, and I'm annoyed, um, and I don't know what to do about it. But you know what? It's the game. Whatever. Um, he outspeeds me with Scuda, Ethereum. Uh, I needed to land that edge. You know, you could say I could have gone for close combat, but if he goes Lele there, I, I don't know how likely that it... <sighs> oh my fucking god. Yeah, it's over now. It's over now. <sighs> oh, that's infuriating. A extremely haxy loss for week one. Extremely. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna recover here on the off chance he doesn't kill me with a freeze dry. It's actually possible he doesn't. I have quite a bit of spadef, but <sighs> I'm not I'm not looking forward to this. Okay, I just gotta spam recover and hope this works out. Like <sighs> he played fine for what happened, but I'm like I'm not going to be super salty about it. His name is slightly salty. Like, these things do happen in these games, but it's extremely infuriating to um, be in this situation, uh, given just how much I prepped for it. Uh, this is, I'm getting whittled so much. Um, I've got a roost here. I wish I had heal bell. If I had heal bell, if I had Heal Bell, oh, Vepsis was right. That was such a haxy game. Did he message me anything? Gosh. Yeah, if I had Heal Bell too, that'd be huge. I had Taunt. Why'd I have Taunt? Lessons learned, I guess. I thought I had a good matchup here, too. Okay. Um, I'm going to store power, I suppose. Um, if he recovers again, it's like, okay. I 
I'm just gonna go for differential at this point. I, I can't. I couldn't have won it with... What's it called? He switches out and goes into propeller. Why? I doubt this even kills, to be honest. Oh, it's a joke. That's a fucking joke. Alright, I'm just going for the fucking differential at this point. Can you believe that shit? Please don't kill. Please give me one extra differential. Thank you. GG. Extremely hexy. I'm so upset. I'm really upset about this one. I don't understand. I'm, I don't like the, the fact Mew led like that. I, I really don't like that. This was not a good showing for me. At all. Right, he can do results and stuff. Uh, I'm trying not to be upset, but this is extremely infuriating. The okay, hi, I'm back. Um, first of all, good game to Salty. Um, I was a little flustered and a little upset uh, at the end of that recording. It's about two hours later. Um, and I still feel like rightfully so, um, particularly because of uh, certain uh, sets he told me he had after the game. I'm not going to get too upset about it. Um, I talked to Vepsis and Simon uh, a little bit, members of my front office, and they were like, you know, better to get it out of the way early. Um, and, you know it's all good and things like that um you know i i have myself to blame for this loss a little bit uh because of the muse set I, I in hindsight heal bell is just the same thing as taunt but infinitely better in this matchup and um it's my fault for for going taunt uh instead of heal bell um that would have won regardless of hacks and that was entirely on me um that being said i do think now with the sets that were shown to me um that had I landed that stone edge against the Cryagonal, as I'm about to show here, I had the game basically locked. I don't think there was a single thing he could have done to me. Um, and he even told me the series of plays he would have made had I landed this stone edge. So I'm going to Dynamax with, um, with uh, uh, Terrakion this turn and hit max deal spike just so I don't create a sandstorm. Um, and it will have the same effect as landing a stone edge. Um, but I I've recreated everything um, up to this point in the game. Uh, Rotom Heat dies to rocks. Mew it has one round of rocks on it. Uh, Trachyon is able to come in one more time on rocks. Um, Lele is about the percent it was. Thunderous is, was at 75, but it's like 5% lower. It's basically irrelevant. Bear Scoot is about the range it was at. And Cryagonal was a little bit lower, but once again, had I land the stone, it doesn't wrap. It doesn't really matter what HP it's at. So I'm going to go for the max deal spike here um, and uh, sort of show that uh, this now represents me landing the stone edge here. So he then told me, um, and we basically agreed on this, that his single play was to go into Bear Scuda. Now, the reason he had to do this is, A, if he went into Lele, he didn't want to risk a stone edge, he didn't want to get hit by the stone edge, um, and there was a chance he died to the stone edge as well. Same reason, can't go thunderous, I had speed, and can stone edge. So I had speed both of, both of the other two mons and, and, and are able to stone edge them. So his play is to kill with Aqua Jet, and this, this was something he agreed would have been his play in the game. So we're going to make that happen. Um, in this instance um although what i would have done is i would have probably would i have stayed in i think i would have stayed in here because it, it doesn't really matter if i sack the rotom or not if you say i sack the rotom in whatever situation that's fine if he goes for liquidation here not aqua jet even though he said his play would be aqua jet um and i stay in and i go for uh, stone edge then um i just win the game so i don't think he does that i think he aqua jets and i think i stay in 
uh, because I want Mew to be able to set up on this Aqua Jet. Um, so let's make that happen. Um, goes for Banded Aqua Jet here, perfect. And now um, I go into Mew on this turn. So this is basically his words. This is what he said he would have done. He said he would have gone into hard Thunder Therian. Now his Thunder Therian is choice specs um, and is modest. So he, in his mind, he was thinking, I can go Thunder Therian after I kill with Aqua Jet and two it KO this Mew, even if it gets a cosmic power up. What he didn't know is that I was max speed Mew. So I actually outspeed modest Thunder Therian as you're gonna see here. So I would have set up a cosmic power here because I am able to take one jet. This is the play that he said he would have made. Um, and I go for a cosmic power. So here I can go for a, uh, I believe I can go for another cosmic power here pretty safely um, as he goes for the Thunderbolt. Yep, I had speed here uh, because of that. And uh, you know, as you can see, this is something that I'm able to roost up on uh, pretty effectively. So we can just play this out a little bit as I roost and I can roost on a little bit more. Um, uh, you know, cosmic power again. Uh, really it doesn't make a difference yeah i can cosmic power again he goes for t-bolt hopefully showdown doesn't give me a crit here or anything like that perfect or a pair would be kind of bad i can roost again he just keeps spamming thunderbolt uh, i can roost again he just keeps spamming thunderbolt um and let's go for cosmic power one more time on the thunderbolt yep and I can roost again. I'm able to outspeed this and set up on this thunderous. Like he said he would have made the play. Now he could argue that, oh, maybe at this point I go into Lele. Once I'm plus two in, in uh, cosmic power, there's nothing that's too KOing me here. Um, so uh, let's, I don't want to risk this. Let me make sure that uh, cosmic, let me, let me make sure stored power kills with this point in view. Uh, you know, who knows how many cosmic powers I would have gone for. Um, I probably would have calped it to make sure I killed in one because that's what I want to do. Um, uh, and that's literally the only shot I have. Uh, so at this point I'm plus three, plus three. Um, so I go to plus three defense, plus three special defense, stored power to 61 to 73. So I probably would have had to do it one more time. Would that do it? Um, actually, I'm not even plus three, am I? One two three four i'm plus four so yeah this definitely kills and it would have killed the range that he's at too at, at 75 so i think i would have gone for caught i think i would have gone for stored power here this should kill him and pick up the knockout yep and then at this point uh he can't go into lele um we, we can talk about what it, what it, what he would go into but he would have to bank on a crit with liquidation i'm able to roost on it and it, it, it's just not something that um scares me you know so um you know i can i can probably let's cosmic power one more time and uh at, at, at this point it, it, the game's over so you know it's not <laughs> very fun to lose this way um i'm pretty confident i do win with you once the uh what's it called is dead uh once the freaking uh once the Kragnall is dead. It was a misplay for him to stay in. Had he swapped out and sacked something else, he probably went in a better position, but that wasn't the play he made. Um, so, you know, I'll story power here. Does it kill? No. Oh, but there you go. Now I get the weakness policy. So um, I story power again here, and, you know, he revealed leftovers. He wasn't Scarf, and he said he wasn't even Calm Mind or anything. So um, I would have won the game at this point 2-0, uh, guaranteed. And the reason I just want to show this is because I felt that um, my explanation at the end of the game wasn't perfect. I was kind of spewing around things, so I wanted to demonstrate visually what I was sort of thinking. Now, there's a few things you could say. You could say, okay, well, maybe, sorry, I'm going to go through me sort of setting up this game a little bit. Um, I just did it so I can get everything in range. Okay, so you could say at this point, maybe I should go for an Iron Head, right? Maybe I should go for an Iron Head to guarantee KO the Kragnall. CC is not a play because Thunderous just comes in um, and uh, I I would sack Rotom. Then I go back into Terrakion and I just I just would have to land a Stone Edge. So it would be the same thing over again. So it wouldn't really make a difference there. Um, and even in that instance, uh, you know, maybe it's not the best situation for me. Um, it's going to make it's going to come down to me laying a Stone Edge anyway. So I might as well go for a Stone Edge here, you know. Um you know, next thing is, 
maybe I should have gone for Iron Head, that covers the Lele switch in. Again, if I go for Iron Head, and, and this is all in instances in which he stays in, if I go for close combat, he just brings in Thunderous and, and I sack something. If I go for close combat, he just brings in Lele and I have to sack Rotom and then go back into Trakion and then Iron Head and then it goes in the Thunderous. Basically, in any of these situations in which I either Iron Head or close combat, alternative options that were 100% accurate, it means that Mew cannot set up on Aqua Jet Barrascuta. Close con or sorry, Stone Edge was the only way to ensure that the only choice he had was to go into Barrascuta and Aqua Jet me. Um, and that would have allowed me to get Mew set up for free. So that was what I was going for in the game. It didn't end up happening. I'm not super upset about it, but I did want to show and illustrate like what my thought process was during the game and how I envisioned this end game going. It relied on landing that Stone Edge. It didn't end up happening, but it's fine. Hopefully uh, the bad luck... Um, it stops here and that's really all there is but we'll, we'll see um good gaming into salty he played pretty well i just um i'm upset that week one happened like this but it's the first wi-fi game there's plenty more to come and we'll see how it goes